Hello students, welcome to Arith Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to discuss about balancing of chemical equation. This is the third lecture, L3 in bridge course. Previous two lectures, if you are not seen, please go through those videos. Then you can continue with this. So that it is an interconnection. So it's a continuation. Remember that. So if you are visited to my channel for the first time, please subscribe and support. Yes. First we will see what is that chemical equation means. Generally what happens whenever one substance reacts with the another substance to form a product. What we will do? We will write left hand side reactants. Right hand side products. Right? The substance which will react together is called as reactants. To form a new compound is called as product. In the course of this reaction, remember, these reactants chemically combine to form the, the another third compound called as product. And that LHS reactant and the product is differentiated by the arrow mark. Remember, by arrow mark. This is symbolic representation of the reaction that we call it as chemical equation. This is chemical equation. What is the meaning of chemical equation? It is nothing but symbolic representation of the reaction. For example, you can see if I tell, it, the, the name of this is potassium chlorate. Potassium chlorate on heating, it will form potassium chloride and oxygen gas is released. If I tell this, remember, KClO3 reacts which is on heating decomposed to form KCl and O2. You have written the reaction. But the reaction is not balanced. Hagadri balancing on the yak bake on the Why this balancing of reaction is required on the Remember in the universe, the mass of the reactant which is reacted, it should be equal to mass of the product formed. It's a universal rule. Law of conservation of mass we call it as. In first chapter I will discuss in detail. That is, whatever LHS side the mass is there, nothing but the number of atoms are there. Because each and every atom will have particular atomic mass. When I make that atoms equal, automatically that molecule, the mass is also become equal. Hence, the masses which is present at the reactant side should be equal to product side. That is the balanced chemical equation we call it as. Very important is that in a board exam, if you don't write balanced equation, you will not get the complete marks. Hence, you have to learn how to balance this reaction. Yes, for this, the balancing of this reaction involves so many methods. In that hit and trial method here we are discussing. In redox reaction chapter, in the first previous we will discuss about half electron method, oxidation number method, etc. Now, hit and trial method means what? Just imagine we have done so many times this. First, we will enjoy. Build it, more try model. He can only put a one the number on the half code. If it is balanced, fine. If it is not balanced, you add another number. You add another number like that. Hit ten, try. Ask it. Now you can see. We will take first one. So here one potassium, one potassium. It is balanced. One Cl, one Cl balanced. But three oxygen here, two oxygen here. Right? It is not balanced. Then you have to balance that oxygen. But what happens? You cannot balance only oxygen here. When you go on balancing that oxygen, you have to change this number. When you change this number, this number is also going to change. Remember, that is called as hit and trial method. Finally, your that balancing should be same. We will cross check at the end. Then, how to do this? What you have to do is, in the molecule, you have to select largest molecule. Largest molecule means number of atoms should be more in that. For example, KClO3, KClO2, largest one is which one? KClO3. For example, in this, largest one is this one, like that. Largest one is KClO3, we have selected, right? 
so one potassium one chlorine three oxygen is there two is there even number odd number you cannot calculate here it is on here it is even hence you have to make it this even when i make this even by putting two remember ille enadru nanu yerad hakide antandre two to the four it become but here three so if i add another number here it become remember three to the six one already is there next option for this molecule is only two remember we will write two when i write two here this become two two cl two cl balanced three to the six oxygen so three to the six oxygen one thing i will tell you my dear students here this three you can add here but you cannot make this as oxygen six wrong one thing very simple language i will tell you here you can change andre nimaga yava ondu hak ide antandre rights ide antandre idara hindugade number irthana adanu bekaadu change maadi whatever the number you can add or delete before this molecule but you cannot touch at all this 4 3 2 2 4 2 you cannot touch at all because when you change this one remember the total that molecular nature will be different that molecule may not exist remember for example here already we have discussed aluminum sulfate formula is al2so4 thrice now to balance this sulfur if you add 4 here what happens you have changed the whole molecule itself hence this is not allowed my dear students remember hence al2so4 thrice you have written you cannot change anything here you can add any number here like that here also i have added any number here i have not written k2cl2 like this correct so i cannot write this k2cl2 like this this is wrong remember so hence this is this cannot be written like this fine so this is the first reaction i have balanced second one we will see aluminum here closely see that reaction also aluminum when it react with sulfuric acid forming aluminum sulfate and hydrogen gas remember when aluminum react with sulfuric acid forming aluminum sulfate and hydrogen gas this is the reaction which means when aluminum react with acid it releases hydrogen gas now you can see how to balance largest one is which one this molecule correct so write take this one al2 is there we will write two here Al2 is there, hence I will write two here, right? So when I write two there, remember I will write two here. Aluminium is balanced, right? Now you can see sulfur. Three sulfur is there. Yes, three is there. I will write yes three. Any doubt? Yes three is there. I will write yes three yes. Here once again I will try. This three you cannot write it here. It is wrong because the sulf sulfuric acid formula is S2SO4, not S2S3O4. Hence you cannot write this one. Remember that. So three are written. Now you can see three sulfur balanced, oxygen balanced. Check four threes are twelve. Four threes are twelve oxygen. Like this whenever it is there multiply. Like this whenever it is there add. Hydrogen three H2 we will write three here. It is balanced now. Very simple. Next reaction we will see. now left hand side right hand side you have to say h2s yes, yes, so to s plus h2 to be one now you can take any larger molecule means this or this you can take fine one sulfur and one sulfur it is there right in this particular case remember just imagine sulfur one sulfur one you have written two and whatever you will write the number it may not be final it may be semi final also and right you, you may also change this number in the further process Fine. We have written two first. Now you can see yes two is there, yes two is there balance. But oxygen you can see two oxygen is there, but here one oxygen is there. Hence what I have to do? I have to write it here two. There is no other way. When I write two here, it become two yes two. Here one yes two, so that I have to make it two here. So this we call it as a trial method. Balance I give up. Alone that number add model. Balance I give up. Alone number add model. Ila alone number add model. Okay. That is balance. I go to add more to hold. Fine. In this particular case, remember two H two S. Yes, so to be calm. Two H two two H two balance. Oxygen balance. 
Now yes, 2s plus s, 3s here. So hence I have to make this as 3. Hence I told, whatever the number you write, it may be final or it may not be final. Remember. Now, this is the reaction given. Very simple. This is the largest molecule given. Correct? K2 is there, first you write 2. Cr2 is there, first you write 2. Right? 2, 2 you have written, right? So now, you can say, K2 you have written, Cr2 is balanced. Oxygen, you can see 7 is there. You write 1 is there, right? So 7 you write here. 7. 7. Now, hydro oxygen balanced, uh, chromium balanced, potassium balanced. Now you go for Cl. Cl, you can see, in this case, 2 Cl, right? So, first you balance hydrogen. 7 S2 is there. I have to write that 7 here. 7. Right? Now, 7 I have written so that 7H2, sorry. 7H2 means 14, no. Yes, 14H, I have to write. Now, 14 Cl, 2 Cl here, 3 to the 6 plus 2, 8. 8, here it is 6 is there. I want to make it 14, 6 Cl I want. So, 3 Cl2 is better. Now, you can see, 3 to the 6 plus 2, 8 plus 8, 6, 14. So, here 14 Cl is balanced. This is a balance equation for this. Now you can see, C6H12 plus so 2 CO2 plus H2 is given. Now, this C6H12 is oxidized to form carbon dioxide and water. Now balance this. 6 is there, you write 6. 6. 12 is there, you write 6 carbon. 12 is there, so 6. 6H2. Now hydrogen balance, carbon balance. Now you can take 6 to the 12 oxygen. Plus 6. 18 oxygen. Hence I want 9. Hence I want 9 in this particular case. Like this remember you can balance this particular reaction. So whenever you balance the reaction you take the largest one. Then you try to balance that particular equation. Now you will take the 6th one. That is we will write the 6th one as here NS3 plus O2 give rise to NO plus H2O. See, NS3 plus O2 give rise to NO plus H2O. Now you balance this. Now, this is the largest one, correct? NS3 because 4 atoms are there. 1N, one 1N balanced. 3 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen is there. Even odd. You have to make it even you have to make it even. Fine? So hence, if it is odd, is there you add another 2 here. Right? 2 here. 6th one, I will write it here. 6th one. 2 here. 2N, here it become 2N. 3 to the 6 oxygen, 6 hydrogen. So 3 to the 6 hydrogen is balanced. See, this is not final. Because you can say oxygen, 2 plus 3, 5 oxygen is here. But here if you see O2, here you cannot add 5 by 2 or 5 or you cannot make O as 5. Wrong it is. Hence remember, now you have 2 oxygen, 3 oxygen, 5 oxygen. Here it is 2 oxygen. Which means with this number, nothing is going to balance. Now what we will do? We will write 3. Once you check, if I write 3 here, 3, 3 is a 9 it become. And here it is, you cannot add any number. Because here it is odd, here it is even. Hence, we go for 4. Common sense is that we write 4 here. Because if you write 3 also, you can cross check. Hydrogen will never be balanced. Hence, we will take 4. Now, 4, 3 is a 12. Right? 12 hydrogen is here. What I have to write? 6. 6 hydrogen. See, 6 to the 12, 4, 3 is a 12. 4 n. So, here I have to write what? 4 n. Now, balance oxygen. 4 oxygen plus 6 oxygen. How much? 10 oxygen. I cannot write 10 here because already 2 is there. So I have I want 5. So hence the balance. Balancing is 4 NS3, 5 O2, 4 NO6 H2. Very simple. Right? NS3 plus O2, NO plus H2. When it is given, you can balance it like this. Easily you can balance, right? So this is about 6th one. We will solve the 7th one. 7th one also, I will do it. Right? So for example, if the question is given like this. 
सेवेंथ वन कॉपर रिएक्ट विथ एच एनओ थ्री नाइट्रिक एसिड गिव राइज टू सी यू एनओ थ्री ट्वाइस प्लस एनओ टू प्लस एस टू सो कॉपर रिएक्ट विथ एच एनओ थ्री सो सी यू एनओ थ्री ट्वाइस एनओ टू प्लस एस टू नो यू कैन यू कैन बैलेंस दिस वन सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट वन इज दिस वन यू टेक सी यू सी यू बैलेंस एन टू इज देर यू राइट टू इयर बिकॉज टू एन आई हेव मेक इट Two hydrogen, two hydrogen balanced, but nitrogen you can see two nitrogen, but here sorry, or uh, two plus one three are there. Three, I have to make it three here because two nitrogen and here one nitrogen is there. Now when it become three hydrogen, here it is two hydrogen, three and two it will never be balanced, correct? Huh? Three and two it will never be balanced. Hence you have to take next number. Next number means here I will take four. If it is four, remember four H. I have to write two H two. 4n. I cannot change this number. I can add this number here. Now balance oxygen. 4 threes are 12. Three twos are six. Remember, twice means this two is belongs to the nitrogen also, oxygen also. So three twos are six. Two twos are four. Ten plus two, twelve. Here four threes are twelve. Balance one. So like this, you can balance such a reaction. Then we will see eighth one. In this particular case, so uh, C8H18. Plus O two, so C eight H eighteen plus O two give rise to C O two plus S two, C O two plus S two. Fine. This reaction you have to balance. Now you can see C eight is there, correct? C eight is there, so you go for eight C O two C eight H eighteen is there, hence you have to go for nine nine to the eighteen hydrogen, right? Now you can see oxygen. Eight to the sixteen plus nine. How much? Eight to the sixteen plus nine. How much? Right? Twenty-five. You cannot make it as twenty-five O two. You cannot make it as twenty-five O two means what? You have to add another number to main molecule. Main largest molecule. You have to add another number. This number you cannot balance. You add two here. Eight to the sixteen. So I will write sixteen carbon here. 18 to the 36. See, 18 to the 36, which means here I want 36, which means 18 I will write, right? So 16 CO2, 18 O. Now calculate oxygen. 16 to the 32 plus 18, 50. 16 to the 32 plus 18, 50. 50 means how many? 25 I need here, so 25 O2 I will write it. So, like this, remember you can balance this particular equation. So, this is the way you can balance the equation. So, like this, you can solve some more questions. You can open your book, textbook. You can see some reactions. It may be balanced one, but you write without balance and practice because practice is very very important in remembering chemistry. Remember that, right? Writing practices must you have to. This much is in today's class. In the next video, I will continue with some more points. That is, the uh, it may be final lecture on this. Uh, we can say bridge course. Remember, right? After that, I will start with the first chapter, basic concept in chemistry. So till then, thank you for watching. Have a nice.